Hello, this is Francisco Kribari and today I want to show you some of the customizations that I make to KDE Plasma on my computers, mostly on my notebooks. I go to System Settings and the first thing that I do, I go to Input Devices, Touchpad and I activate mouse click emulation so that I can tap on my touchpad and it emulates a mouse click. Then I go to shortcuts and I define some keyboard shortcuts. For instance, here under global shortcuts, power management, I specify a shortcut for suspending to RAM which is always Meta. Meta is the super key, the Windows key. Meta Shift and S. So if I press Meta Shift and S at the same time, it suspends my notebook to RAM. And then I define some other shortcuts. And then I go to, where is that? Window Management. Let me see here, window management, task switcher, and I change this field to cover switch. You have several options here. I like cover switch. So if I have several applications open, I can just press Alt tab to switch between them. And then I go to desktop behavior, virtual desktops, and then I specify here that I want to use four virtual desktops. And you can see here that I can switch between them by clicking here, going to desktop four, desktop one, and so on, or by pressing Ctrl F2 to go to the second one, Ctrl F3, Ctrl F4, and if I want to come back to my first desktop, just Ctrl F1. And then I go to desktop behavior, uh, desktop effects. And here I don't activate many effects, mostly uh, wobbly windows. So what does it do if i move a window it um, shakes the window like that and then lamp i activate magic lamp so what magic lamp does is if i minimize the window it uh, does so in that fashion here see and then you also act you can also activate the cube the desktop cube here so that if you wish you can switch between desktops by rotating a cube okay so you, if you like that, you can activate that as well. And then in desktop behavior, you can go to screen edges and define here what you, you want to do. If Let me click here in the right upper corner. And then it could be something like a present windows current desktop, for instance. So that's what I have selected here, apply. So if I move my, move my cursor here, it shows the windows that I have open in this workspace. So that's something that you can do. You can customize each of them. And then uh, I go to desktop, uh, 
so I'm done here yeah mostly I go to applications and then I define here my default applications for instance I specify that my default browser is Google Chrome and then I go to file associations and then I specify which programs should be used with different file types let me show you an example you can search here I can type here JPG JPEG images and here I specify that my first choice for opening JPEG files is Gwenview my second choice is Geeky my ch third choice is GIMP my fourth choice is Darktable and so on so then you can specify that for each file for instance let me see here mp4 video and what I, I specify that my first choice is VLC then uh, caffeine dragon and so on so if I click on an mp4 file it will open that file using VLC okay and if I right click on that file in Dolphin the file manager it will give me this list of applications that I can use in this order so that's something that I like and then I do that for PDF for text files for PDF my first option is uh, ocular okay for uh, txt for text files let me see here my first option is kate and so on for instance let me move atom up which would be my second choice click on apply so those are some basic configurations that i make in KDE and then in other videos I will talk about other configurations that I make but those are my uh, f first configurations when I first install KDE that's what I do before I customize the desktop even further